Hi guys, this is Rahul here and I am from myview.rahulnavi.net which is my blog uh, and in today's section I am going to talk about uh, how to set up application insights in your app. So first of all let's discuss what are application insights. An app insight is nothing but uh, all about app, right? It gives you a complete 360 degree overview of your app that how it is performing whenever a new page request is coming or whenever a new user is coming to your page, what are the things he is doing, uh, any exception if occurred and if you have any alert set up for that particular kind of exception. So what happened at that time, you can get that glimpse of that by setting this app inside in your app. You can do it for um, both the apps like uh, if you are creating from the scratch while doing so as well or if you have already created app, then also you can set up one app inside in your app uh, with uh, I, with that particular uh, type of script so I will show you that uh, first of all let's go ahead and create one application inside here I have already created one let me show you that um, but uh, before that let's see that how to create that I usually do that uh, with that browse option over here and in that filter section I type whatever is the required thing this is just a shortcut thing so as you can see here I am having that application insights that's okay create that Greater that so here I have already that uh, clean app and application inside demo this is I have already created so if you go ahead and click one of these you can see here what are the things over here so currently the timeline and everything server request field request browser page loads and everything every insights you can see here nothing is configured and everything is clean as in because I have not deployed any app to it and I have uh, set up a couple of alerts over here. Uh, here there are two alerts. Currently it is uh, client processing time and server exceptions. So these are the things which you can set here. Like uh, you can go here and say add alert. Uh, let's say, so it will, uh, you, you can select here from that. Uh, it will show you that particular application inside so that resource group. It will show here in that drop down. And you can say, let's say I like to go for um, page views so let me give it a name page views and uh, just copy the same in description as well okay now let's create that so you can see here it is getting created over here and uh, one toast has also uh, notifying that in that that it is getting created so it has created successfully you can see here in that alert rule now uh, let's go ahead and add this uh, with visual studio so here uh, you can see here this is my visual studio 2015 and here on the left pane my microsoft azure is coming with this uh, options application insights so this is uh, this current uh, Visual Studio 2015 which I am having in this VM is currently linked with my account my Hotmail account which is also linked with my Azure account so this is giving me the entire glimpse which is I am having on my Azure so whatever I am creating, uh, creating there with my that account it is getting listed over here so as you can see here if I expand this panel a little bit more so here you can see here that application insights components clean app and that the next one which i was just showing you here, here application insights demo so <clears throat> that's okay now let's uh, go ahead and create new project let's say simple sp.net uh, web app and i would say simply sample app insight let's follow camel casing usually prefer that and you can see here this application insights is selected right and here it is saying send telemetry to new application insight resource so you can configure here so the default one or the existing so here it is saying that uh, wherever it is hosted like so application insights demo and the, the first one which is the, the default one so i would select here the new one which i have created here so this is done and let's go ahead and say okay 
and here I would like to select the simple one uh, let's say MVC and uh, just uh, say ok so it is creating pro project and uh, doing all of config changes required for that uh, app inside as well uh, and that so it will take a couple of minutes to do that <coughs> all right so it got created now you can see over here there are the couple of things okay this is still getting created adding all references required references over here so you can see here that application inst insights references are getting added over here <coughs> and one more thing is that app insights config got updated here so this config file is nothing but that uh, whatever configuration settings you have done from that VS right so this is having that uh, thing that uh, that it will take you your telemetry data to that particular thing let's hold for a minute So now if you see that this project is get uh, got created and let me just go ahead and run this app now. And let's see here. So here you can see here no application insights so this is getting uh, <clears throat> enabled that application insights uh, uh, this particular thing right so how many things uh, uh, whatever page you are traversing so let me choose uh, traverse some pages over here let's say about contact login right register and other stuff so and this guy will get updated so here now 12 requests right so every time whatever user is doing the request over here right uh, whatever stuffs you are doing here this is sending that particular request to your application inside so this is called recording your telemetry data like uh, whatever stuffs you are doing on the site whatever requests are coming to the site it is sending you back to this application insights and this is back sending to the Azure right so you can just visualize this or open this in that uh, portal itself so you, if you click on this it will take you that uh, to that as a portal to visualize that so it is opening and you can see here okay so this alert got activated <coughs> let's click that so it is opening here So you can see here that <clears throat> what are the metrics has been there like um, server response time for 365 milliseconds, browser page load, uh, how many server requests happen, how many failed requests, right? So none, right? So this way you can visualize your uh, app completely by setting a, a different kind of rules as well. And uh, <clears throat> there are many more steps which you can do here with that. And you can see here like how many page views happen, right? So I have set up these things like uh, uh, like to show here that how many pages are uh, got viewed like by setting the new role over here. So it is showing that seven total page views. That's okay. Now, <clears throat> so this is just a glimpse of that like uh, how to set up application insight in your app. You can do it within that existing app as well. 
by setting that uh, application by creating that application inside from that Azure portal and uh, copying that JavaScript into that existing app. I will cover that particular piece in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and happy coding.